So we're going to go back to the rose one here. And we're going to turn off the color balance layer. And we're going to select the adjustment layer. Now adjustment layers are normally what I do to adjust photos. Um, the reason is that when you do an adjustment layer, it actually adds a layer in here. And you aren't really changing the original. So what we're going to be doing is basically the same thing that we did with color balance, but we're going to be inserting new layers above the current layer, and these new layers are what's going to change the way the current one looks. So up here, right directly above layers is adjustments, and we are going to select color balance. Okay, now this looks very similar to what you saw under image and adjustments. And what we're going to be changing is basically the same thing. This has got too much blue, so we're adding in yellow. We need to bump up the green. Not enough of the green is showing. And we're going to bump up the red. And right now the default is midtones, but if you notice that you know a highlight or a shadowed area should be adjusted, you can change this and you can modify shadows. See, and right there you can see in the red how that looks. And you can also modify your highlights. Now another thing that I really like about adjustment layers is you can turn them on, you can turn them off. If you think they're a little too intense, you can change the opacity, which lessens the effect. And if you ever want to make a change, all you do is double click on the little thumbnail here, and it opens back up and you can adjust your adjustment. Okay, so it's actually a super flexible feature, uh, and this is how I would encourage you to adjust your color. Now, in addition to doing color balance on this one, we're also going to modify vibrance a little bit. Okay, it kind of looks like an upside down triangle, but we're going to bump up the vibrance a little bit and bump up the saturation. Now you don't want to overdo it uh, because you can, <laughs> it can look like your, th your uh, layer is glowing if you're not careful. So you do want to, uh, you know, go a little conservative on this. In fact, I probably did it a little too much. Okay, but you can have multiple adjustment layers. Now you can just stack them one on top of each other. You can turn them on, turn them off. Okay, super flexible feature. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go over into Dillon, Colorado. And we're going to turn off the color balance and select the adjustment. We're going to do the color balance adjustment layer. Okay, so this has got too much yellow, so we're increasing the blue. We're going to increase cyan, Oops, a little too much. And then, let me scroll over here so I can see this. I'm going to decrease the green a little bit. Okay, now just like uh, we did with the, the rose one, if you wanted to adjust your highlights and your shadows, you can do that. Okay, we could bump up the blue. And let me go into shadows here. So you have to kind of look at the area of your image that would have more of the shadow. And I actually do like the water looking a little bit more blue. 
Okay, and once you get done, all you do is just click right on your layer. Now we're also going to adjust the contrast. So there is a brightness contrast adjustment layer we can use. Um, the brightness we're going to kind of leave alone and actually we could decrease it just a tad. And then for the contrast, you can increase that. I'm going to let you guys select what you think looks good. And then once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can go ahead and save your file. Okay, and then you can go ahead and close out of Rose and Dillon, Colorado.